blood supply in the U.S. It's at historically low levels. Red Cross declaring the first ever blood crisis. So we have 13 Action News reporter Kelsey McFarland live this morning to explain a new incentive to roll up your sleeve and help. Kelsey. Lena, Dave, good morning to you. Blood inventory is so low that the Red Cross says doctors are having to choose which patients receive blood transfusions and which patients have to wait. And we're live inside a blood donation center this morning. This is where they're sure to be busier later today, but they need you to fill the seats over the next few months. Now here in Southern Nevada, officials prefer to have at least five days of blood on hand. And right now they have less than one day supply. Donor turnout rates are the lowest they've been in a decade and officials say the pandemic is a big factor. And what we run into is that we don't have the blood necessary that we need to be able to move quickly in the event of an emergency. We also need to have that blood on hand for sickle cell patients, cancer patients, pediatric cases, and sometimes when they're in an emergent situation, they need those O products and those are the ones that we most urgently need. Now, if you need or if you make an appointment for January, you'll automatically be entered to win two tickets to the Super Bowl in Los Angeles. That includes round trip flights, a three day hotel stay and $500 for expenses. You'll also be entered in a drawing to win a home theater package and a gift card for tech support and a $500 gift card. Now, all blood types are needed and welcome. You heard uh, the executive director saying O particularly is needed. But if you are feeling sick, you're asked to stay home and there is a section on the Red Cross website that allows you to fill out a health questionnaire and find out if that excludes you from being eligible for donating before your appointment. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News.